Hi, and welcome back. This is the vocabulary lesson for the Conversation Music Festival Part 2. So this is the second part of the Conversation Music Festival, the second part of the vocabulary lesson. In this conversation, Joe and I are continuing to talk about the music festival that we went to in Golden Gate Park here in San Francisco. So we're just talking about our feelings and our thoughts about the music festival. Okay, let's begin with the conversation. Joe says, so, and so is just a filler word. It's not really needed here. Joe goes on to say, I guess I need not ask, or he's saying, I don't think I have to ask because I think I know already. And Joe goes on to say, who your favorite uh, band was during the evening. When he says, uh, that's just a filler word. It's not needed at all. Moving along in the conversation, then I say, Radiohead. Now, Radiohead, this is an English music band. It's the name of the, the English music band or the band from England. And then Joe says, yeah. And yeah is casual or slang or informal for yes. And Joe says, I figured it. And what he's saying is, I thought it. And then I say, of course. Of course, meaning for sure. And Joe goes on to say, would be them. So Joe's saying, yeah, I thought it would be them. I thought it would be Radiohead that was your favorite band. And then Joe goes on to say, they were the main attraction. The main attraction. Here, main attraction means the band that everyone wanted to see the most. The main attraction. And then I say, yeah, I mean, and I mean, this is filler. It's not really needed in the sentence. And I go on to say, I, you know, you know is short for you know. And then I say, I'm a fan of Beck too. Or I'm saying, I like Beck also. Now Beck, this is the name of an American musician. And I go on to say, but, and but is a filler word. It's not really needed here. And I say, I think that I was just so, just so, these are both filler words. They're not really needed in the sentence. And I go on to say, back playing at a different stage than Radiohead. Now stage, if you'll remember, I explained stage in Music Festival Part 1. In this conversation, a stage is something that a band plays on. And I go on to say, and playing right before Radiohead, or I'm saying the hour before Radiohead. And I go on to say, I was just so focused on, or I was thinking a lot about getting back to the stage to get a good spot or a good place to see Radiohead. I just couldn't fully, or I'm saying, I just couldn't completely uh, get into Beck. Now, get into, this means to enjoy. Get into. For example, I was really able to get into the music. I loved the sound of the guitar. Get into. And I go on to say, and, and and is a filler word here. It's not really needed. And I say, yeah, it. It's just, he, the music just wasn't resonating with me tonight. Resonating with me. This means it was nothing special to me. Resonating with me. For example, the sound of the guitar really resonates with me. 
resonating with me, or in this example, resonates with me. And then I go on to say, unfortunately. So what I'm meaning is I wish I had been enjoying the music. Unfortunately, I was not. And then I say, cause, and cause is short for because. Cause that's the first time I've ever seen Beck live. Live. This means in concert. Live. For example, I love to see live music. I prefer going to see a concert rather than listening to a CD. Live. And Joe says, yeah, you see, for me, and you see, this is short for you see. And Joe goes on to say, it was totally, or he's saying it was completely different because I really, really, or he's saying, I very much enjoyed Beck's performance or, or Beck's show or Beck's concert. And Joe goes on to say, and, uh, you know, and I say, you, you, you missed half of it. Go into the bathroom. Going. This is short for going. Going. Or going. And I go on to say, what are you talking about? Talking. This is short for talking. And Joe says, well, and well is just a filler word. It's not really needed here. And Joe goes on to say, you know, sometime nature calls. Now, Joe, I don't really know why, but he should have said sometimes nature calls. But he just, for whatever reason, he just cut it shorter and said sometime. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, but normally you would hear sometimes nature calls. Nature calls. This means have to go to the bathroom. Nature calls. For example, I did not want to leave the movie, but nature was calling. I think I drank too much water before the movie started. Nature calls, or in this example, nature calling, or nature was calling. And then I just laugh. And then Joe says, but, uh, you know, I, I also, I wasn't familiar with. Or he's saying, I didn't know Radiohead's music at all. I really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, I, I would definitely go see them again. Or he's saying, I would definitely go see them play again. And Joe says, but I, I'm more familiar with Beck's music. So maybe that helped me to enjoy it. Plus, or Joe is saying also, I, I just like that style, or he's saying that kind. And Joe goes on to say Beck's style of music, or he's saying Beck's kind of music. More than Radiohead's, you know? But I really did enjoy the Radiohead music. I liked the fact that uh, the crowd was really into them. Now when he says crowd, he's speaking about all the people watching and listening to Radiohead. And then Joe goes on to say, you know, like, and like is just a filler word. It's not really needed here. Joe goes on to say, you looked out in the crowd and you saw everyone smiling. You know, everyone seemed happy. And like some people were dancing and uh, a lot of people were singing their songs. You could tell, or he's saying you could see that they, they were very familiar with the music. So, uh, you know, it was just a good vibe. A good vibe. This means a good feeling. A good vibe. For example, I liked the concert. It had a good vibe to it. A good vibe. And then Joe says, I, and I really enjoyed that part of it. Or he's saying, I really enjoyed that about the concert that it had a good vibe. It had a good feeling. And I say, oh, and oh is a filler word. It's not really needed. 
And I go on to say, they were off the hook. Now, off the hook, this means excellent, very good. Off the hook. An example of off the hook would be, the food in Thailand is off the hook. I enjoyed it a lot. And I go on to say, I mean, they sounded just as if I had put a CD in the CD player. And Joe says, yeah, well, you know, and I say, and that's, and then Joe finishes by saying, practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. This means if you do something enough times, you become good at it. Practice makes perfect. For example, when I first started teaching 12 years ago, I was not sure that I was doing a good job. But now I feel that I am a better teacher. Practice makes perfect. And then I say, yeah, it's difficult to find that live. Or I'm saying, it's not easy to find a perfect sound like on a CD. And then I go on to say, but I will say too, well, let me back up. Let me back up. This means let me start over again. Let me back up. And I go on to say, I'm, I'm really glad, or I'm saying I'm really happy. I took it easy last night. Took it easy. This means that I relaxed. Took it easy. For example, Joe and I took it easy on Saturday. We went to the park and read a book. Took it easy. or just relaxed. And then, moving along in the conversation, I go on to say, just so I could save energy up for tonight, because I danced my ass off. I danced my ass off. This means I danced a lot. I danced my ass off. For example, I danced my ass off at the concert last night, so my legs were sore when I woke up. I danced my ass off. And then I say, and I thought that I would. And then Joe says, yeah. And I say, and I did, I had so much fun. But, um, an um is just a filler word here. It's not really needed. And I go on to say, going back to, or what I'm saying is speaking about what you were saying about the crowd being really into them. They were, I agree. But I would say that more people didn't dance than those that did, which kind of surprised me. And kind of here is really just filler. It's not needed. And I go on to say, it's so different compared to the music we usually go to see. And Joe says, yeah, I mean, I totally agree. When we usually go see music, everybody is dancing and uh, you're right or he's saying you're correct and that there were maybe, mm, I wouldn't even say half the crowd was dancing. And I say, yeah, I guess there were more people singing as you experienced or I'm saying as you heard and I laugh. And, and then I say, some people standing next to you. And Joe says, yeah, there was a guy who was standing next to me who was singing. I mean, he was, it was like he was screaming at the top of his lungs. Screaming at the top of his lungs. This means yelling loudly. Screaming at the top of his lungs. For example, my, my neighbor's house was on fire. I could hear her screaming at the top of her lungs. Screaming at the top of his lungs, or in this example, screaming at the top of her lungs. 
And then Joe says, I could, or he said, I just could not uh, hear the music at points. He's, he's saying, I couldn't hear the music at times. And then he says, I had to move away from him at one point. And then I laugh and say, that's so funny. And Joe says, and then there were some teeny boppers. Teeny boppers, these are teenagers. Or people who are between ages 13 and 19. Teeny boppers. For example, I saw a group of teeny boppers at the ice cream store. They looked like they had just finished school for the day. Teeny boppers. And Joe goes on to say, who were over near me, or he's saying who were standing near me, who were just like screaming. They weren't even singing the music. They were just yelling. You know, so, and I say, oh, just like out of excitement. I mean, and when I say just like out of excitement, I'm what I'm saying is they were maybe screaming or yelling because they were so happy. And Joe says, yeah, they were so excited. And I say, yeah. And then Joe says, yeah, they were just like yelling. And Joe goes on to say, but you know what? They were having a good time. And the way I look at it, this was their favorite band probably. So what Joe is saying is, I think this was their favorite band, probably. The way I look at it, I think this was. And then Joe goes on to say, so, you know, more power to them. Now, um, this is short for them. More power to them, or more power to them. That just means this is good for them. Or, I'm sorry, that is good for them. More power to them. That is good for them. And then Joe says, they were having a great time, and I was happy to see that. And I say, well, without a doubt, or I'm saying for sure, or definitely, without a doubt, Radiohead is one of my favorite bands. So I was happy to see them live. I hadn't seen them live since I was in college and didn't even appreciate them then. Appreciate means like. So I saw him in college, but I didn't even like him. Didn't appreciate him then. And Joe says, yeah, well, you know, uh, maybe next year they'll play the festival again. Now, if you'll remember from Music Festival Part 1, I said what a festival is. In this conversation, a festival is where a lot of bands are playing music. And I say, yeah, if they have one. Wasn't this the first year they had this festival? And Joe says, yeah, that's true. And then I say, yeah, and this was the first time ever someone played at dark in Golden Gate Park. At dark. This means at night. At dark. An example of at dark is the park closes at dark, but then it opens again in the morning at dark. And then Joe says, yeah, that's true. I hope that uh, we didn't wear out our welcome as fans. Wear out our welcome. This means to make someone uncomfortable by staying too long or doing something too much. Wear out our welcome. For example, when I visited Colorado, I slept at my friend Julie's house. I slept there for four nights. I did not want to stay another night because I did not want to wear out my welcome. And then I say, how so? So I'm asking Joe, how did we wear out our welcome? Or the people at the festival. And Joe says, well, you know, people, and then I say, leaving trash and stuff behind. 
So I'm asking, leaving garbage behind in the park? And Joe says, no, I think more so when people were leaving the concert. Since Golden Gate Park borders, uh, you know, Golden Gate Park, this is the name of a park in San Francisco. This is where the music festival was. And borders, borders means is next to borders. For example, Thailand borders Cambodia. Borders. And then I say, oh, and Joe says, a bunch of neighborhoods, or he's saying a lot of neighborhoods. Neighborhoods are areas where people live. And Joe goes on to say, people were walking out of the concert at the end of the night. End of the night meaning when the festival was finished. And Joe says, and making a lot of noise. And and then I say, right. And I'm just agreeing with Joe. And then Joe says, I think that, and it was getting late at night. So I think that it uh, might have woken up a lot of the people who were who live in the area. So I just hope that the people, and here he's talking about the people from the festival. And he goes on to say, weren't, uh, you know, too much of a burden on the neighborhood. Burden. This means something that is difficult. Something that is a problem. Burden. For example, my grandmother always says that she feels like she is a burden on my mother because she cannot cook anymore. Burden. And then I say, yeah, you know, it did kind of suck. Or I'm saying it did sort of suck. And suck means not good. Suck. For example, it sucks when you want to go to the beach, but it is raining. Suck. And I go on to say that the sound cut out twice, or the sound cut out two times. Cut out means to stop working because there is a problem. Cut out. And I say, but I guess that's just, or I'm saying, but I think that's just. And Joe says, yeah, what was up with that? So he's saying, yeah, why did that happen? Why did the sound stop two times? And then Joe says, I mean, the guy, or he's saying the man, who was at the soundboard must have been asleep at the wheel. So Joe is saying the man who was making sure that the sound was okay, he must have been asleep at the wheel. Asleep at the the wheel means being careless about what you are supposed to be doing. Or not doing what you are supposed to be doing or what you should be doing. For example, the cook burned the cake. He must have been asleep at the wheel. And then I just laugh. And Joe says, that's like so unprofessional. So he's saying the sound man did not know what, did not seem to know what he was doing. That's so unprofessional. And then I say, yeah, that was. That was really disappointing. Or I'm saying, it's not what I was wanting to happen. And Joe says, well, at least, or he's saying, it's a good thing that when the music was playing, uh, it sounded good and the band performed well. Or he's saying the band played well. And I say, yeah, agreeing with him. So now this is the end of the vocabulary lesson for the conversation Music Festival Part 2. As always, if you need to, listen to this a few times, but making sure you do it in a relaxed way. You don't want to get stressed or worried when listening. And you want to make sure that you have a basic understanding of the vocabulary. And then when you feel ready go to the mini story. Okay, see you next time. Goodbye.